It wears the new Cupra front fascia design, seen on the latest Leon and Formentor models, with aggressively styled air intakes and triple triangle signatures for the LED daytime running lights, as well as the full-width LED taillight bar. The shared DNA with the Audi Q3 is visible from the side, with a body structure, doors and side windows that appear to be shared between the Cupra and Audi models. Matrix LED headlights are available, as are 18, 19, and 20-inch alloy wheel options, and a choice of nine paint colors including two matte finishes. Inside, the center console has been oriented towards the driver, with copper-colored highlights on the dashboard and doors, and a 12-speaker Sennheiser Premium Stereo shared with other new Cupra models. A 12.9-inch infotainment touchscreen sits in the center of the dashboard, running the latest VW Group software, including climate controls pinned along the bottom of the display and illuminated touch-sensitive shortcut controls under the screen. A 10.25-inch digital instrument display sits ahead of the driver, while a wireless phone charger sits in the center console. The 2025 Cupra Terramar revealed petrol and hybrid sports SUV coming to Australia. This is the final new model from Volkswagen's Spanish offshoot with petrol power, the Terramar midsize SUV, due in Australian showrooms next year. The 2025 Cupra Terramar has been unveiled as the Spanish brand's latest SUV and its final new model with a petrol engine under the bonnet, due in Australia next year. The Terramar is a five-seat SUV measuring 4.5 meters long, similar in size to a Volkswagen Tiguan, and between a Toyota Corolla Cross and RAV4 in dimensions, expected to eventually replace the current, aging Ateca. It is closely related to the next-generation Audi Q3, alongside which it will be built in an Audi factory in Hungary. With the Cupra differing in its front and rear styling and interior, There's a Cupra signature steering wheel with drive mode and engine start satellite buttons and sports bucket seats upholstered in Dynamica microfiber, leather, or a mix of Sequal recycled yarn and synthetic leather look upholstery. A full suite of advanced safety technology is available in Europe, including lane centering assist, adaptive cruise control, and blind spot monitoring. Powering the Terramar in Europe is a range of five engines, one mild hybrid, two purely petrol-driven, and two plug-in hybrids, all matched with a seven-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission. The base engine is a 1.5-liter turbo petrol four-cylinder, driving the front wheels and producing 110 kilowatts, aided by a 48-volt mild hybrid system, which can allow the car to coast with the engine off, or provide a small electrical boost to the four-cylinder in certain scenarios. Powering the Terramar is a range of high-output turbo petrol engines with up to 195 kilowatt and all-wheel drive, as well as 150 kilowatt or 200 kilowatt plug-in hybrids with up to 100 kilometers of electric-only driving range. Australian showroom arrivals are due to commence early in the second half of 2025, with both petrol-only and plug-in hybrid variants expected. Prices in Europe start slightly higher than the sleeker Cupra Formentor which is currently priced from $56,490 drive away in Australia. The Terramar is expected to be the final new Cupra model with petrol propulsion, as every new vehicle it launches from today onwards is planned to be electric before only selling electric cars from 2030. Named after the former Sitges Terramar racetrack near Barcelona, Spain, the Terramar measures 4, 5, and 9 mm long, 18.63 mm wide, and in 84 mm tall, on a 2 and 681 mm wheelbase. It is similar in size to a new Volkswagen Tiguan, and slightly larger than a Nissan Qashqai or current Cupra Ateca.